Did you know that each year more than 350,000 people in this country suffer cardiac arrest outside of a hospital? The survival rate could double if the victim is treated with CPR and an automated external defibrillator. Dr. Mehmet Oz is here with some great ideas and refreshers for this life-saving technology and procedure. Doc, good to see you. Can I add one little caveat? Yeah. The life you save is someone you know and love because four out of five of those people who drop dead, drop dead in front of their families because we hang with our families. So families who know how to do this save themselves, families who don't, no one survives. And for every minute you do not do one of these procedures, the survival rate decreases by between seven and 10%. Plummet. So you gotta get to do this quickly. Let's talk about the first time you come across someone, they've collapsed, what do you do? Number one thing, call 911. Just call for help, get that going, send someone to do it because you gotta stay with the patient. You shake them, you make sure that they're truly out, and then you do chest compressions. Very simple, you put your hand across the nipples with one index, or one finger pointing towards one nipple, palm on the other, grab across and go like that. Now, the chest compression should push down about two inches and you need to go at a rate of about 100 a minute. So it's sort of like row, row, row your boat gently down the stream at that rate. Old school it used to be you do this in conjunction with mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. That's no longer the recommendation. All finished. It turns out the survival rate's even better if you don't breathe. So all that crazy math, how many breaths, how many compressions, all gone. This is so simple, Matt, that last weekend I went to Texas. We had all the medical schools involved, 700 med students, with all the major medical societies and health corps, our, and not, and our charity for kids. And we taught more people to, to do the Texas two-step, which is call 911 and do chest compressions than ever before. Everyone in America today can start doing that. And when do you stop doing chest compressions? When the paramedics arrive. Exactly. Not before. You keep going down 100 beats uh, a minute. And, and the survivor rate, again, if you do this in conjunction with using one of these, and these are AEDs, they're in public places, I know you think there should be a lot more of them. They should be in every place that you could ever possibly publicly. Many people get them in their homes. These are so easy to use. People think they're walking into an airplane cockpit. It's not that. Yeah, but it's intimidating because what you're doing is delivering an electric shock to someone, and people are nervous about that. It cannot hurt them. The machine is so smart, and we're gonna do it right now. That's how easy it is. During this interview, you open it up, right? It looks like this, you bust it out of the glass, open it up, within a few seconds, it's gonna tell you some very specific things to do. For example, it's gonna tell you, you know what, just sort of settle down for Stay a second. Calm. Stay calm. Follow these instructions. Those instructions are gonna instruct you to take the shirt Actual off the person. Mm -hmm. services are called now. Once that one is coming, then you know the clock's Begin ticking. You're in good shape. Bare chest. This little pad here gets pulled out. Remove it, or cut clothing if needed. When you take the pad out, you take... When patient's chest is bare, remove the white square package from lid of AED. Now, there's little maps here where to put these two mm -hmm. patches. You need to put the patches around the heart. And, and what this is going to do, it's going to analyze the heart rate and then, if necessary, deliver that electric shock. Exactly. You put it one right beneath the nipple. All you've got to do is apply it the right way. And you put one above the other nipple. pulling from the tabbed corner. The heart is in between. Right? So all you've done is surround the heart. Mm -hmm. It has told you to do everything I just did. Right. Now it's analyzing. As it's analyzing the heart, you're doing chest compressions. If it thinks it needs to shock, it tells you to get away. Now it's analyzing and it's going to shock. will be delivered in three, two, one. Boom! Delivered. And you just saved a life. Uh, can, I, can I just say, if you did not get away at that point, what would the peril be to you? In the hospital, we don't take ourselves away. Uh, there's theoretical peril if you're standing in water, you've gotten wet on you, the shock could theoretically arc through you. That's purely theoretical. But it tells you over and over again to let go, let the patient be before it shocks them. Does this work with anyone in cardiac arrest? Or are there certain patients this would not work for? There are some folks who would not benefit, but the machine knows that, is analyzing the rhythm of the heart, and will only shock if it's appropriate for the patient. So you cannot hurt the patient. And if you're smart about taking it out and applying it like we just showed, so simple, either sides of the chest, one below the nipple, one above the nipple, you surround the heart, nothing else can go wrong. I mentioned these are in a lot of public places, schools and things like that. They're about, what, $1,000? Is they're, that what they cost? They're about $1,000. I, I I think people should have them in their homes if they have a risk for a heart problem. We're getting smarter and smarter about predicting people who are going to have a risk. But listen, there's 40-year-old people all the time who dropped dead. In fact, the photographer at the Texas Two-Step events we were doing last weekend, the photographer had dropped dead in a spin class at age 42 and gotten chest compressions for 20 minutes. All you have to remember is chest compressions, AED. We can double, even triple the number of people we save. Matt, these are huge numbers. My goal today with you is to 
the, today, today, save someone's life, and for the rest of our lives, the same evidence will come through just from what we've taught. All right. Dr. Mehmet Oz. Doctor, thank you very much. Great information as always.